We're at South High School where tonight the Red Wings host conference rival Manitowoc. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach, Chris Wright. Uh, Chris, we start this season 0-1. We had a game back in November, UWS lost. Uh, last year we were 11-5, so we want to improve on that this year. We need a win tonight. But before we talk about tonight's game, let's talk about some of the rule changes that uh, the WIAA has instituted. Well, one thing that's completely different and probably the biggest one is that it's no longer quarters, it's halves. Uh, unlike college basketball where they play 20 minutes, you're going to play just 18 minutes, uh, which, you know, if you do the math a little bit, 18, 18 is 36. They used to only play 32. Uh, the other thing is if you play on a JV level, you will still play uh, just 16 minutes. Uh, talking to some of the people around here uh, about that change, uh, a lot of people, you know, not so sure they like it. They like the extra rest. You know, a lot of teams don't like to play, you know, eight, nine people. A lot of people like to play maybe just seven. Even the Badgers seem to only play seven or eight. But uh, for high school teams, it seems to be a, a little bit of an adjustment. Well, definitely be an adjustment. It'll be an adjustment for the announcers. <laughs> well, that, that, <laughs> that it will. Another thing that seems is every year the uh, WIA and the officials always try to have some point of emphasis. And uh, one of the things that they've really talked about a lot is you know, stopping the hand checking and the body touches and fouls and things like that, which means that, uh, unfortunately, that also means more fouls, it means more free throws. And when you add that on to the end of the time, it seems like the last two minutes of the game, last four minutes, all you're doing is sitting free throws, which means the length of the game, you know, and when you were leaving seems to be a lot more. And is that really a true uh, identity of the game? Now, as most seasons go, officials kind of start to get lenient, but they always come out that way. I'm not saying all officials will, but there just seems to be a tendency. Sometimes they lean a little bit easier as the year goes on, but for the early part of the year, we'll have to wait and see how that works. I was talking with Andy Kautzer, and we were talking about the De Pere game that South had a couple days ago, and he said a lot of fouls in that ball game. Let's talk about tonight's game, and uh, South comes in one and two. Uh, Manitowoc, I believe, is 1-1. One one. They haven't played a conference game, so they're opening their conference season tonight. And that's another story. Chris will complain about that during the broadcast, the schedule. But uh, Manitowoc looks to be fairly tough this year. Yeah, they're a little bit better, but uh, we heard uh, warming up, uh, or in the warm-ups, we were talking to some people, and a couple of their bigger players are out of the game. So Manitowoc's ma making a big jump. They did not have a very good basketball team a year ago. Uh, they still have some athletes in Latour. Latour played football, he played basketball, and played baseball. I know he's one of the kids to watch out. And I know the Kavanaugh kid uh, went off for 26 points or something in one of the games. So those are a couple players to watch. Talking to some of the Mantuoc people, I guess they can shoot. So I guess taking away the three-point shot for uh, Mantuoc is one of the things that we have a point of emphasis for Coach Rink. I got Andy Kavanaugh. His dad, Jeff, was a JV coach for many years. But anyway, Andy's averaging 28 again game. Uh, Dave Latour is averaging uh, 18 a game. And then a kid by the name of Brandon Bant is averaging uh, 17 a game. So those names probably be mentioned quite a bit tonight. Uh, South, on the flip side, looks like they could be in for a bit of a long season. Yeah, up and down year, I think, for South. I, they graduated a lot of kids from a year ago, and they only have two seniors this year. And they have a, they're, you know, on the positive side of that, they have a very successful group of juniors that has JVs for uh, Coach Berlin last year, did extremely well. So they're going to take their lumps. They went up to Pierre last week. They were tied to halftime 40-40. They ended up losing the game. The Pierre's ranked sixth in the state right now. So as a measuring stick, that's pretty good. But on the other hand, they did lose earlier in the year to uh, to New Holstein, so it's, I think it's going to be a growing thing, and I think something that, I think if you come out to watch Sheboygan South basketball, they're going to get much better as the year progresses, and start off with a nice conference win at home would be nice as well. Logan Hamilton earlier this season had a real nice game, uh, scored over 20. He's one of the main guys. Yeah, he is, and his dad, of course, is a coach, and we, we play with him, uh, his dad, for a number of years, and takes after his dad, and we were kind of joking before. We remember when Logan played with us, when he was like in fifth, sixth grade, and he'd come and play with us, and you know, it was, it was a really nice kid too. So, but uh, yeah, he's one of them to look at. But you know, look for Ginther, uh, a little bit of senior leadership, quarterback of the football team, coming back to, to have a nice basketball season after he got hurt this year. So nice to see him on the floor too. You had mentioned that uh, Manitowoc is missing three players. South is also missing a couple. Uh, let me see if I got these written down. Jesse Edwards is definitely out. And uh, Mike Rank told me his son, Mike Rank Jr., is also going to be out. 
uh, with a broken arm, but he is suited up. Well, and again, this I think, you know, with Coach Rank's team, you're going to see a lot of kids and a lot of players. Uh, and, you know, seems like he always early in the games and stuff like that plays a lot and gets a lot of guys into the rotation. So expects a lot of things of that. The other senior, of course, is a, uh, A.J. Gutierrez, one of my favorite athletes in Sheboygan. Why? Because he plays three sports. Uh, but he plays baseball for South. Yeah, and he's a good baseball player, and he's a good football player as well. So I like when those type of athletes. So just two seniors for South this year and a whole list of juniors. All right, parents' night tonight. They introduced the varsity parents uh, before this game. I don't think you guys saw that. At halftime, they'll be introducing the uh, JV and freshman parents. Uh, but stay tuned. In a couple minutes or so, we'll be back, and we'll have the tip-off for tonight's basketball game. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware, we're all responsible. He serves his party best who serves the country best, Rutherford B. Hayes. Patriotism is easy to understand in America. It means looking out for yourself by looking out for your country. Calvin Coolidge. Government is a people's business, and every man, woman, and child becomes a shareholder with the first penny of tax paid. Ronald Reagan. There's nothing wrong in America that can't be fixed of what is right in America. William Clinton. Be the we now. board certified pediatrician. I've practiced pediatrics now for about 14 years and I always tell my parents I give the vaccine to both of my daughters and I really do not want them to come to me 20 years from now and say mom I have cervical cancer and you did nothing to protect me. This is a vaccine that is safe, is effective, and it can prevent cancer. Cable access channels ensure you the ability to exercise your First Amendment rights through the medium of television. They create opportunities for mutual communication, education, and artistic expression. Public access makes community participation possible and gives you a voice in your community and your world. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local public access channel. And we're Packers fans. Hi, I'm David Collins, superintendent of the Wisconsin State Patrol. Packers fans are the best fans in football. We are the, we are the ultimate, ultimate team players. players. The ultimate team player. Be the ultimate team player. Always have a designated driver. Always have a designated driver. Live responsibly. Packer fans. Don't let fans drive drunk. Responsibility has its rewards. Go Packers! Go Packers! Go Packers! Time was, kids did what came naturally, spending free time running through the grass, exploring streams. But times have changed. Today's indoor kids spend more than seven hours in front of electronic media. That's why National Wildlife Federation created the Be Out There movement. Outdoor play improves kids' health, body, mind, and spirit. It helps them stay fit, enhances creativity, and could even make them better students. There's a reason they call it the great outdoors. Learn more at BeOutThere.org. Be out there! Thank you. One of the goals of high school athletics is learning lifelong values. Sportsmanship is one such value that makes this game an educational experience. The Fox River Classic Conference stresses sportsmanship as a goal and expectation for all in attendance at tonight's game. 
please remember to sport a winning attitude by cheering positively for your own team. And now, let's meet the starting lineups first for the Manitowoc Lincoln Ships. 6-1 senior number four, David Latour. 5-10 senior number five, Andy Kavanaugh. 6-2 senior number 10, Lars Luchterhand. 5-11 junior number 24, Braden Bent. And 6-6 six, six, junior number 25, Ben Reindel. Head coach for the Lincoln Ships, Brian Gallagher. And now, your starting lineups for your Sheboygan South High Red Wings. 5'11", senior number five, Tyler Ginther. 5'11", junior number 10, Jared Splitgerber. 6'1", senior number 12, A.J. Gutierrez. 6'2", junior number 32, Zach Caffeine. And 6'4", junior number 33, Logan Hamilton. Head coach, Mike Rank. Assistant, Jeff Risto. The officials for tonight's game are John Dufresne, Patrick Mildebrandt, and Mark Otter Stotter. These individuals are registered by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association. Their experience and integrity qualify them to administer the rules of the game. Tonight's game supervisor, Chris Korf. And from Prevea Sports Medicine, you know her, you love her. Say it with me, Maggie Bauer. Bauer, that's Bauer with a B. Chris, uh, the officials that uh, Sim mentioned, I'd never heard of one of them, and nope. none of them look familiar, so it's nope. a new, brand new crew for us. Hamilton is uh, gonna jump center against uh, Rindle. Rindle is 6'6", six, six. Uh, Hamilton is 6'4". Both of those uh, young men are uh, juniors. Eighteen minute halves, <laughs> clock just, is set. Just thinking that, Marty, eighteen minutes. South controls the tap and uh, Manitowoc starts it off in a man-to-man -man defense. Taking it to the hoop and kicking it out to Hamilton was uh, caffeine, but uh, Logan couldn't uh, put the shot in. Manitowoc comes away with the rebound and they have their first possession of the night. South also in a man-to-man -man defense and Hamilton with the quick hands takes it away from Rindle. Split Gerber. And a kick out to uh, Gutierrez, but uh, could get him for a travel. No, nope, I think he stepped out of bounds, Marty. You know, with 18 minutes on the clock, you know what's coming next? Shot clock. Uh, wouldn't be surprised. They've talked about it actually for several years, and I think uh, might have been one of the Dakotas, or was it Minnesota, actually uh, tested it out, see how it'd work. Uh, as a country, we have not uh, gone to that yet. Deep three is good. That shot goes in by Brandel. Well, he we said, watch the three-point shooting from Manitowoc. To the rim, no good. And then putting it back up was Gunther, and he gets fouled. Gunther's first shot is pure. Puts in a pair, we're at three to two with uh, 16.39 remaining in the first half. Can't 
Tried to dump it down inside, but Hamilton had that one covered, made a nice interception. Deep three by the left-hander, Caffeine is no good. First sub of the night for Manitowoc is uh, Michael DePurek. Stepping off the floor is uh, Ben Reindel. Lose a little bit of height with that exchange, Chris. Yeah, a lot of the uh, big boys from Manitowoc are on the end of the bench. Jump shot from 15 is no good, but getting the rebound is DePurek, but he can't get the shot to go, and Hamilton on the bust out. Ginther's uh, drive to the basket wasn't even close, clanked it off the backboard. Cavanaugh has it. Oh, that was sweet, Chris. And he got it to go. Did a little dipsy doodle, put it up and in. A steal. Driving layup is up and good by Latour. Seven to two. Manitowoc on top is not a good start so far for uh, the Red Wings. Skip pass to uh, Split Gerber. His three is off, no good. Gutierrez gets, gets away with a push. Knock Latour right to the floor. And then it goes off a Manitowoc guy besides. Coach Gallagher asking for, uh, you didn't see that? Nobody saw that? Spencer in the game for uh, South. And Jared Govek is also in. According to uh, Mike Rank, he spoke a little bit before the game. Uh, Govek is uh, not 100%. Manitowoc also in a zone now, Chris. Spencer gets it in the Govek, but he gets shut out. Spencer's 15-footer uh, is off, and Manitowoc, three guys are on the board. Taking that rebound was Luchterhand. Just a cold shooting start for uh, South. No baskets through three and a half minutes. Drive to the basket by Latour, and he's got it. He has four points. And Manitowoc has a 9-2 to lead, and it's timeout South, a full timeout. We'll be right back. Every child adopted from foster care remembers their one day. The day he first met his forever family. The day their adoption was finalized. More than 100,000 children are waiting for their one day. My one day was happy. Find out more at nationaladoptionday.org. Scott Mailoff is our Scott Mailoff is our director tonight. Eric Wiesman is running the camera on the floor. And then we have a couple of student helpers. Senior Maddie Fister is up here with us, along with sophomore Sergey Molitor. Those are the two student helpers from South. Those are students in uh, Scott's class over here, Chris and uh, had an opportunity to talk with them. They're both very nice. Uh, Maddie's sister, Lacey, actually works for the TV station, and uh, she's worked some games with us. Back to action, South trying to get a basket. Wouldn't be for Ginther's two free throws. Splitgerver's driving layup is no good, and Manitowoc comes away with the rebound again. It's been one and done for the Southsiders. Yep, one of six. Or excuse me, 0 of 6 shooting for South so far. First four minutes. Tour has it on top. Oh, I'll tell you, Manitowoc missed a wide open player under the bat. He's open yeah. again. What a violation on uh, Manitowoc. Turnover. The guy that broke open underneath at least the second time was DePurek. And it looked like Gutierrez didn't know who he was guarding because that was his man. Twice. 
And AJ can't save it, it goes out of bounds. Another turnover for uh, South and uh, coming in is uh, Ginther, AJ taking a seat. Cavanaugh had it on top. Oh, it looked like he stepped on a line and no call. It also looked like uh, Ginther was pushing him and uh, there was no call there either. Well, as I said in the opening, I said a lot more fouls gonna be called this year. <laughs> they've been letting it go, haven't they? Which is fine, and I think it's just fine the way they're, they're officiating right now. I do think when, uh, and I'm, I think Ginther actually put the Manitowoc player in a bad spot when he was bumping him with the body. I think something like that you almost have to call. Logan wanted to shoot it, but uh, thought the better of it. Rolling down to the 13-minute uh, mark of the first half. Spin move, double clutch, rolled in, and then back out. No breaks for South. Rindle's shot from 10 is no good. And a nice, strong rebound that time by uh, Govek. Kick out there, yeah, there's a travel, that was a good call. Jer Javon Spencer shuffled the feet before he put the ball down, and I think that's gonna cost him a trip to the bench. Coming in is uh, Jesse Montelvo. Also coming back in is uh, Zach Caffeine. Split Gerber, uh, or yeah, I think that was Split Gerber coming out, it was. We're still at nine to two, Chris. That's uh, not been much scoring. Well, and a good thing too, considering the fact that South Have can't find the basket and their, uh, the lead at least is not getting any worse. Wide open from three point land. The shot is off by Manitowoc's Braden Bant, but then he gets fouled. Montavo gets the foul. That's only the first foul on South. Three shots here, so substitute can't come in. Not till the last one. Bant hit a three to uh, start the game. And now he's made two of his three free throws. And uh, he's looking for point number six already. And that makes it 12 to two. Govek has it. Manitowoc uh, with the untraditional Chris uh, black shirts with the right trim. Martins with a basket. He was pretty happy about that. No kidding. Yeah, really. But, uh, I'd save oh. it. Logan Hamilton with the steal, and he lays it up and in. South on a bit of a run. First Thanks to sloppy play by Manitowoc. Yeah, they've had, they've had a few turnovers this half so far. Five to be exact. Yeah, that's pretty many. Almost a turnover. Kavanaugh has it on top, being guarded by Ginther. Kavanaugh's shot is off, no good, but Manitowoc comes away with the wow, rebound. The lot putback. of body. Yeah, no good that time by uh, Dopiric. A lot of body on that uh, attempt. It's by 12 DePerk. to six. Of course, got that on the screen. Good job, Scott. 11-19. Ginther from the top, Oof. couldn't get it. Bit of a brick. Backboard seems to be okay though. With a tie-up possession arrow, uh, 
was pointing towards Manitowoc. That's why they get the ball out of bounds. It's 20% shooting for South, and they're only down by six. A layup attempt is no good by uh, Kavanaugh. And then coming away with the rebound was Feast, but uh, he had it tipped out of bounds. Mantwalk's not much better. They're at 33%. Oh. And now had another turnover. Yeah. I think he hit the backboard with that. Martins has it inside. Thought he got away with the walk, but he got the pass out to Hamilton. And he pops in a two. It's 12 to 8. Six point run now for the Red Wings. Logan leading score. 15 and a half. Couple quick buckets for him. The two are open from three. He nails it. We don't like that, Chris. Second three of the night for the ships. Threw up two. Both go in for them. Get their wide open. Nobody came out to guard them, and coming away with the rebound for Manitowoc was uh, Dupiric. Caffeine putting the tight defense on Latour. Now where are you going? A kick out pass, the shot is up and no good by uh, Dupiric and uh, Govec has it now, pushing it up the floor. Under 10 minutes left in the half. Govec's uh, layup attempt is no good. We get a whistle down here. Martins picking up the uh, foul. Well, we played over 10 minutes, or pardon me, a little over eight minutes, Chris, and we've got a total of three fouls. You gotta like that piece. I do. Legal screen. I would have to say something. Luchterhand picks up his second foul. There's another case too, Chris, you know, when you play a little longer half like that, you know, you pick up two fouls, it's more, more bench time if the coach uh, does it that way. Yepper. That'll be interesting for coach just to tell. Really, Martin's it, battling underneath, trying to get position. And it's two uh, foul uh, rule. Two extra minutes to play with now. Hamilton dumped down inside to Martins, had it stripped away by Latour. Good defensive play that time. Oh my. And he drains or shoots a deep one, didn't drain it. And then uh, Hamilton falls oh. on top. And they call nothing there. Nothing. Wow, we. <laughs> you know, that's one of those cases where you got to call something. Once he hit the turf. He did. He called him out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, there's a little contact. He just didn't fall out of bounds on his own. I guess being in the wrong place at the wrong time doesn't apply tonight. Ginther pushing it hard through the lane but can't get it in and it goes out of bounds. <laughs> Had well, us we, fooled. <laughs> well, we didn't want any fouls called, Marty. We want to go. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> hey, if, if there was five seconds left in the game and we were down one and that happened to us, we'd be belly aching, that's for yep. sure. Well, Coach Gallagher didn't like it. No, he was pretty calm, though. No. <laughs> shot is off, no good. Missing that first shot was uh, Braden Bant, and it goes out of bounds, but Manitowoc will keep it. Hey, I see on the bench, uh, Mark Christensen is yeah. an assistant. Good. Uh, Excellent coach, former coach of Manitowoc, Howard's Grove. Oshkosh, too, I believe. Uh, Waukesha. Or was it Apple? South. One of the w Appleton. Waukesha South, I think he was at for sure. Excellent coach. He's been around, whatever oh, okay. the case. Talking with his brother Gig out in the Commons prior, mentioned uh, that he was back into coaching. Shot is no good by Bant. Gutierrez back in the ball game. Well, we're down to the second quarter now. Hamilton with a spin move, great pass inside to Martins and he puts up the easy two. What a pass. 15 to 10, Manitowoc on top. They started the game off with a three and has led uh, 
the whole game. Seven and Bant, a half. Yeah, Bant being guarded by uh, Split Gerber. <coughs> Latour on a kick out pass. Again, good defense played by uh, the Red Wings. Latour on a fadeaway, but he gets called for the travel. I thought the travel happened before, actually. Actually, trying to figure out what exactly they're trying to do. I don't know what the offense there was of Manitowoc. Meanwhile, AJ is uh, AJ's wide open from yeah. the wing and nails a three. Because Mantwalk's complaining to the officials, they forget to guard the people in the white, and AJ hits the three. Ezra Emmy in the ball game for the first time for Manitowoc, and uh, this time we're gonna have a shooting foul. Manitowoc will go to the line. Gutierrez picking that one up. Just like that, South is only down a bucket. Under seven minutes, barely. Well, it's time to put the kiss of death on somebody here, Chris. We haven't had a missed free throw all night. Let's see if it works. We had a good shot of David Latour. Chris mentioned earlier he's a, quite a football player. And played baseball too. Good to see. Baseball been plenty good to me, man. Yeah, he pitches for Coach Steinbecker up there. 17 to 13, Manitowoc on top, just rolling under the seven minute mark. South has uh, started to score some baskets and a lot of battling inside and uh, just judging from the way as the game has gone when I've watched uh, Dylan Martins underneath the basket, I'm not surprised that he was the one that picked up the foul. He's uh, extremely aggressive. The problem with that, Chris, it's his second of the half. So he may be uh, benched for the rest of the first half. Yeah, he's got four points. He's a presence inside, that's for sure. Hopkin North playing good D there. Yeah. Gutierrez with a strong rebound. Shot by Hamilton is good. And it's 17 to 16. Logan with seven points. Good I defense by yeah. South. Yeah, Ginther uh, getting up tight. Cavanaugh can't find an opening, and then uh, we get a foul. That one's going to go on, I believe it's going to be on Opkinor. We'll have to see. Op Evan Opkinor did pick up that foul, Chris. It's the fourth foul of the half for South. Manitowoc has only picked up two. Brandt had it taken away by Hamilton. He's going to take it hard to the basket, and he gets fouled by Brandt. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Rindle picked up the foul, pardon me. Coach's nightmare when you can't get an inbound pass in, and that's a couple time now for the ships. They have nine turnovers so far. Kind of letting South back into the ball game, and now with a chance to take the lead with a couple free throws here by Logan. Five forty-six left. South has managed to uh, come back and tie up the ball game, and now they take the lead. Eighteen seventeen. I think a large part of this uh, run, Chris, has been the defense by uh, South. And again, the defense comes through. Tenth turnover. Govek going hard, can't get it. Kicks it out. Logan Hamilton for three. No good. He got knocked to the floor. No call right in front of the official, too. Govek shot attempt at the rim. Bounced away, and Manitowoc comes back. They're down one. Latour 
Got away with a shuffle, it looked like, Chris. I don't know what you think. Yep, and uh, the whole south bench saw it, too. Bant has it on top. Five minutes. Bant wide open. Nobody got over to cover him. Ball went in and rolled back out. And then the putback was no good, but a foul is called. Luchter hand will go to the line. Split Gerber picks up his first. Luchter hand has a chance to uh, tie it up and give his team the lead. Mantwalk shooting just 26% in the first half. Well, between the two teams, Chris, they're 10 out of 11. That was the first miss of the half. 9 to 10, 10 of 11 now. And that ties it up. South up to 36%. They were in the 20s from... Oh. Oh, and he lost the ball. Spencer had a wide open lane to the basket, made a nice little move to get around the defender and then just couldn't dribble it. But uh, they caught a break. Ball went off a Manitowoc player. South will keep it. Manitowoc uh, on the inbounds goes to a zone. Go back for three. Averaging 10 points a game. Gets his first basket. Cavanaugh averaging over 20 points a game and only has uh, three points. I think that foul is going to go on Govec. Hey, there's Wally Reclitus, right in the front row, as usual. Oh, nice little turnaround hook shot that time by Luchterhand. 21 to 20, south on top. Four minutes left in the first half. Dumped down inside to Hamilton. He puts it up and in. Nice in, pass. Inside, outside. Logan doing it all. Three-point attempt by Kavanaugh. His shot is blocked, and then we get a foul. Foul's going to go on Luchterhand. His third. Oof. There's the smallest fan in the crowd tonight. <laughs> it's 23-20, to 20, south on top. Spencer has it. Manitowoc in a man-to-man -man defense. Kick out to Spencer. Air ball there. I thought it was a good decision not to put the ball on the floor till he missed. Latour's three-point attempt is no good, and Logan Hamilton with a strong rebound. And another timeout by uh, South, a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it here this time. Our next ball game is going to be next Friday, December 18th, when Notre Dame comes to town to play uh, North. Uh, we look forward to giving you that uh, There's coach game, and there you and see coach. <laughs> They've coached a few games here at South. Yeah. John Schumann on the right. Bob Ruskowski on the left. And right behind them, I believe that's Steve Moore, whose son went to school here. He's a coach out in Cedar Grove, I believe. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> that's our name. Well, you got a name drop with Wally Recolitis, and we got the coaches there, a little more name dropping. We could drop a couple names. Maddie Fister and uh, Sergey Molitor, our two student helpers. Uh, the rest of the A-team is uh, Eric Wiesman on the floor camera. Scott Mailoff, our director. Chris Wright is doing color when I let him. 
I'm doing the play-by-play. -play. Three minutes and a half. Hey, did you see that about Vin Scully? No. He's uh, going to do Dodger baseball again next year. I don't yeah. think he does many road trips, but he's like 85 years old. He's he been, does do a lot of road games. He's though. been doing Major League Baseball for over 60 years. Yeah, he's. I, I've done some reading about him and things. Well, I just think he has got the best voice for baseball. Oh, it's smooth. Uh-oh. Oh, a little bit too hard on the lob. He was there, though, wide open. Spencer shut off. Good defense there by the ships. South leads it by three. Oh. And Hamilton called for the walk. Yeah. South hasn't had too many turnovers, have they, Chris? What do you got for them on the Eight. Team? Ooh, that many, huh? Yep. Most of them came early then. 225 left in the first half. South by three, 23 to 20. It's been a relatively low scoring affair. Cavanaugh with the nice bounce pass inside to Feast. Pulls a Manitowoc to within one. Long three is up and good by Ginther. Another three-pointer for the Southsiders. Well, they started off real cold, but uh, definitely. Cavanaugh oh. had a good look at the basket, got the shot up, but it just wouldn't roll down and in. Cavanaugh just one of six. Their leading score at one of six from the floor. Caffeine inside, the left-hander traveled. He's yeah. a lanky kid, Chris. Yep. All arms and legs. You don't want to catch an elbow from him. Twenty-six, twenty-two, south on top. Split Gerber almost picked up the foul. Bant couldn't get the three to go. Spencer couldn't get it, but he tipped it over to Ginther. Nice pass. He Caffeine walked. shot. Nope. Is off, but he gets fouled. He'll be at the line shooting a pair. And he fell awkwardly, Marty. Braden Band picking up that foul. And uh, Caffeine does not look good. You're right, Chris. He's uh, he's hurt. Watch kind of walk. see how he lands. Yeah, he just landed. It's hard to see how things got twisted up in his legs. Hey, Scott, when you run that replay again, would you please kind of zero in on the legs? <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have that equipment set up yet. Next week. <laughs> Did you get a loud noise in your ear again tonight? Besides you? <laughs> yeah, besides me. It's like a constant buzz. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. It's nice that basketball is kind of excited about getting out and seeing it. Hey, but you know what's more exciting? South coming back. Yeah. It wasn't looking good there for a no, while. Well, they just couldn't put the ball in the basket, and it took them a long time to get their first basket, and then... Uh, Some uh, real nice passing by the boys. Go well, for easy shots. Logan Hamilton. Here we go. He's going to watch him zoom. He's doing it. I think he did twist an ankle. You're right. Well, he thought he could or just knee. walk it off and you know, nice and easy the way, you know, oh, yeah, I'll just hop up, but then things weren't as smooth that way. Good job, Scott. You are the man. I don't care what anybody else says. Our games uh, are rebroadcast. This game will be rebroadcast on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. And then again uh, next Tuesday at 7 and Wednesday at 2. And then we'll be uh, over at North on Friday night. And uh, I think he did it to the knee, Chris. You're going to see it again. 
Watch his right knee, the one that's closest to you. Yeah, it's just awkward. Oh, yeah, ankle. He's putting a little weight on it now, Chris, as they get back closer to the bench, so that's a good thing. Uh, coming in to shoot the free throws is a Jared Govek. Get a pair. Salt up to 39% shooting. Just 28% for Manitowoc. And Mantua can't seem to find the hoops now. Twenty-seven, twenty-two. Rolling down to one minute left in the uh, first half. Cavanaugh looking a uh, good defense by Ginther, not allowing him to get a shot off. You know, when you average over 20 points a game, Chris, and uh, you're not getting many shots, you get a little antsy. It'll be interesting to see if uh, Andy Cavanaugh can keep his patience. Whoa. Drive to the basket, rolls off. A good move to the basket by Feast, but he couldn't get it to go on Logan Hamilton with another rebound, and we're at 30 seconds left in the half. I'm sure uh, South will go for the last shot. Like I said, Mantua cannot find a basket, kind of like South started the first four or five minutes. 15 seconds left. Ginther has it on top, looking to go to the hoop. Finds the lane, lays it up and in, and he's fouled. Nice move to the basket by Tyler Ginther. Martin's getting ready to check in. And Ginther puts the free throw down. It's 30 to 22. What a turnabout, Chris. Hamilton coming off the floor. Dylan Martins comes in. 5.8 seconds left. Kavanaugh kicks it. Oh, man. What are you doing? Come on. Hustling. Well, I don't think that's smart when you're that far away from the basket. Second foul on uh, Split Gerber and uh, Manitowoc will go to the line. <laughs> Mike Rank not very happy with uh, Jared Splitgerber's foul. Seven of eight for Manitowoc in the half, Chris. Looking to go eight for nine. Half 40 foot shot comes up short and we're at halftime. A good comeback by South in the second half of the first half to uh, take a six point lead into the halftime, 30 to 24. Hi, I'm Mia Hamm. As a professional soccer player, I know how rewarding sports can be and how quickly injuries happen. So I've teamed up with the American Association of Orthodontists to ask athletes to play it safe. With my years of training, I know what it takes to become an expert, and orthodontists do too. They're the experts who help people obtain healthy, beautiful smiles. Wear mouth guards, face masks, and helmets to prevent injuries. Keep smiling and visit braces.org.
and Jason Kate. Antonio Flowers, parents Alicia Seabrook and Antonio Flowers Sr. Jarrett Henderson, parent Judith Henderson. Antoine Jones and Ahmad, Ahmad Martin, parent Della Jones. Sam Caffeine, parents Sarah and Michael Caffeine. Jackson Penny, parents Jason Penny and Chrissy Kaiser. Noah Kupsch, parents Connie and Alan Kupsch. Trevor Ladwig, parents Chris and Michael Ladwig. And our last JV player, Garrett Rivera, parent Kim Metalis. And momentarily, we'll have the freshmen. Let's have a nice round of applause and please stay there for the JV parents. Thanks for everything you do for your player. Better see some hugs out there on the parents. All right, here we go. Austin Bolt, Michelle and Dean Bolt. Andrew Herman, Ambra and John Herman, parents. Lars Krugel, parents Linda and Marshall Krugel. Hunter Keister, parents Tammy and James Keister. Next we have Nick Larson, parents Joy and Darren Larson. Next, we have Max Marchiando, parents Laura and Michael Marchiando. Next, Carl Mattern, parents Antoinette and David Mattern. Next, Cameron Meyer, parents Michelle and Mark Meyer. Mikhail Coleman, parents Jarvis and Colleen Bradley. Andrew Fister, parents Christine and Stephen Fister. Nicholas Prowl, parent Michael Prowl. Dalton Ritchie, parent Yvonne Ritchie. John Schaefer, parents Stacy and Pat Schaefer. Riley Smith, parents Marcy and Tyler Smith.
Ben Soik. Parents Aaron and Frank Soik. De Carlos Valentino, parents Liana Valentino. And finally, Jack Roll, parents Heather Roll. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's have another nice round of applause for all of our parents. All of the things that you do for Sheboygan South High Athletics, we applaud you. And now you may hug your parents. There you go. Thank you once again. One of my most rewarding experiences as a dietitian has been actually quite recently, just a year ago, when I met Donna because she was so motivated and ready to lose weight and to get healthier. Well, since I've met Sue and listened to her guidance, I've lost about 80 pounds, and I have been taking off almost all my medications. To me, I mean, that's something to shout about. I just see the future getting better and better and better because I'm getting healthier and healthier and healthier. Ian Ralston was a combat medic who was injured in Iraq. When I met Ian, I knew he had to help him get his housing grant, an auto grant, and every benefit to live as normal a life as possible. And we did. PVA has helped hundreds of thousands of veterans get the care and benefits they've earned. My name is Jason Stevenson, and I work for Paralyzed Veterans of America. Paralyzed Veterans of America. Changing lives. Building futures. This video was submitted by a student through the Teens Drive Smart program. For more information on teen safety, visit teensdrivesmart.com. Don't allow your weight to threaten your health or control your future. Excess weight or obesity can cause emotional and physical health risks, but you can take control. The Your Weight Matters campaign offers free resources and tips to help you measure and understand your weight. Take the Your Weight Matters challenge. The free toolkit prepares you to speak with a healthcare provider about your weight. Your weight does matter. Take the challenge and take control today. got some business to take care of before we go through the first half stats. First of all, I want to thank uh, Courtney Robinson. She is a junior at Manitowoc High School. She helped us out with some of the pronunciations for uh, their players. And uh, we never got to the announcement of the JV game. Manitowoc in a pretty easy win tonight over the uh, South JV team, 67 to uh, 41. Also want to say hi to our friends from Manitowoc Radio. Paul Bursch and Tim Strews and uh, wish Damon Ryan uh, good health. He normally would be here announcing the game, doing the play-by-play, -play, but he's got uh, throat issues. Chris, we got some interesting stats from the first half. Leading all scores were uh, David Latour and Logan Hamilton. They each had 11. Uh, South made six out of seven free throws. Manitowoc made eight out of nine. Free throw shooting was just outstanding by both teams. South, after a slow start, made four three-point baskets. Uh, Manitowoc had a pretty quick start, hit uh, two early threes, and then did hit any, didn't hit any late. Largest lead of the game, Manitowoc had a 10-point lead. That was early. They went on a 12-2 run. Uh, South's largest lead was eight, which came real late in the half till we had that uh, foul. And uh, the reason why South is leading, they went on an 11-3 run. 
which culminated really in a 16-5 run, and uh, that's where they got back in the ball game and captured the lead. Yeah, just 27% uh, shooting for Mantuak, 41% for uh, South. So South really came back after really not putting a lot of baskets in there. And that's one of the key factors why Jared Govac had an outstanding half, you know, hitting the boards and doing all the little hustle things. And chipped in with four points. Sue Hamilton with a good in anticipation lays it up and in. 12th turnover for uh, Mantwalk already, and just like that, South is up by 10. Good hands that time by Ginther. Thought that Kavanaugh might have tipped it after he did, but the referee didn't see it that way. Well, there's a walk. <laughs> Change pivot feet. Oh, nice play that time. Coming up with the basket was uh, Lars Luchterhand. A little bit of zone for the ships. South four of 10 three-point shooting in the first half. Hamilton from 12 nails it. Good skip passing that time by the Red Wings to get that nice open shot. He's six of nine from the floor. Latour around and down, nails a three. That's Manitowoc's first three in a long time. Yeah, they're three of eight from there. But it's still a seven point lead for the home team. Hamilton with good hands, picked it off the floor. Ginther wide open. Bango! Four shot attempts for South in the second half. Everyone's found the bottom of the net. Second 10 point lead for South. Govec trying to get the steal. See who they call it out on. Oh, off of Manitowoc. Good hustle by both those boys, but uh, it was uh, Luchterhand, I believe, that uh, tipped the ball out of bounds. Timeout, Manitowoc. They're down 10, 39, 29. It's a 30-second timeout, so we better keep it here. Chris, your impressions, you're early on. Well, since about the 10-minute mark of the first half, it's all been south. Makes a lot of difference, though, when the ball goes in the hoop. Really? And Manitowoc is struggling to do that. And so you're, you're, you're really right in saying that because the game looks so easy when the ball goes in the basket, but when you have trouble making baskets, boy, it's a, it's a slug. And Manitowoc, you know, just could not build on a big lead. I think you said they were up by 10, but I mean, they could have done so much more uh, damage and they didn't. Split Gerber on a cut to the basket, drives to the hoop, but can't get it. And then uh, Gutierrez on a silly foul going over the back. Picks up a rebound foul for uh, AJ. That'll be his second. Splitty just can't get on track. Well, he's having a tough night. But you know my theory on that. If you're not making them, keep shooting. <laughs> Eventually they'll go in. A three second in the lane by Rindel, not called. South playing good defense. Good cover up on, uh, on Rindel and then on the throw and Govac threw it off the back of the backboard so Manitowoc will get it. Good hustle by South. He got Hamilton running out of bounds over on this side. Govac hustling on the other side. That's what it takes. Little things that don't count in the box score. Rindel using the body well. Puts it up and in. Neither team's missed the basket so far here. In the That's first the minutes. other thing I was going to say about this half versus the start of the game is uh, both teams are shooting quite well. It's been a fast start to the second half. Another timeout by South. That's their third of the night, Chris. Well, I think South was running a play there, and it wasn't being run correctly. 
Somebody so did not you, pop out. So do you call a timeout and yell at the kids? Or do you explain how it works? <laughs> or do you do both? I think he's doing both. Something was not right there. You could just tell that that was some type of quick hitter or some type of play call. And somebody did not. You had two guys on the strong side of the basketball and Splitty came around and then they were looking, looking, looking like somebody was supposed to probably pop to the top and nobody did. Split Gerber has it on top, gives it back to Govac, back screen by Hamilton. Ginther feeling it, couldn't get it to go, but uh, Govac comes away with the rebound and makes a good decision to pull it back out. Gutierrez going hard to the basket, gets fouled. Gotta like that approach. Yep, making things happen. Three years on the varsity at least for AJ. I don't know if he played as a freshman on it, but I know he's been on the varsity at least the last three years. Definitely baseball. Just an update on the injury. It was a knee, not an ankle. Okay. You know, I don't know if I can see that well from this far away, but it just looked like one knee looked bigger than the other when he came off the floor after that time he spent Sitting down, is his return imminent or is he out? I don't see him on the bench. Deep. Brant, no good. Cavanaugh with the strong rebound. Gets a good pass inside. Luchterhand with an easy two. Yeah, still a nice touchdown lead here. It seems like Mantua gets a burst, but you look to the uh, scoreboard and South seems comfortably ahead. Govec hard to the basket. And Ginther hard to the basket. Got his own rebound. Hamilton couldn't come up with the loose ball. And putting it up and in for Manitowoc was Braden Bant. A little bit of a run here by the uh, ships. Kick out to Hamilton. His three attempt is, looked pretty good from here, Chris, but I it was agree. a little bit off. I agree with you. That looked like it was in. Had a good look at it. Again, nice uh, passing by the ships to get the open shot. And bad hands that time. Gutierrez lays it up and in. AJ scoring some points this half. He finished the first half with three. He's got three already. Just under 13 minutes left in the ball game. Rindle inside, uses the body, had it blocked by Hamilton. Couple of offensive rebounds by the ships. Kavanaugh with a putback, but he gets fouled. That's not a good sign. Neither team really had second shot opportunities in the first half. Each only had two offensive rebounds. There was two offensive rebounds for the ships on that possession. But, uh, Kavanaugh had uh, two points in the first half, Chris. He's got one on that free throw now. Spencer, Martins, and Montalvo in the ball game. And Opkenorth. It's kind of like a hockey game. 12-44. 42-37. South up by five. Manitowoc hanging in there. Three-point attempt is around and down. Nice shot that time by Evan Opkenorth. His first points of the game. Five point lead jumps up to eight, just like that. Montalvo uh, picks up his second foul, third team foul of the half. And Latour going to the line. 
He led Manitowoc in the first half with 11. He now has 14, he nailed a three early in the second half. Here comes the caterer. <laughs> Oh, two misses. That has been unusual tonight, Chris. Free throw shooting's been uh, really good in this ball game. Martins uh, couldn't handle it. That wasn't a very good pass that time by uh, Jesse Montalvo. Got to clean that stuff up. Yeah. I think the official blew his whistle a little bit late. Yep. A little backdoor cut. Latour got it hanging. Got the shot up and in, and he's fouled by uh, Javon Spencer. Wow, this isn't good, Chris. Well, it's still a six, six, five point lead. Things, I feel very comfortable. I just like the way South has been playing and taking advantage of the turnovers by the ships. And Three point play by Latour makes it uh, 45 to 40, just under 12 minutes left. Latour now is 17 points, leading scorer in the ball game. Interested to see who they go to the score here. Oh. Oppie. Oppie. Yeah, he just decided he missed that three and just a hustle play, but went over the back. Manitowoc again with an opportunity to keep chipping at the lead. But getting some good rest for AJ and Hamilton. Logan on the bench right now. Antwalk trying to get up the hill and over the hill, which is always a lot of work. South with a good defense. Kavanaugh has it there. Finally, Kavanaugh touches the ball. It was a long possession without having him touch it. And good defense again. Latour got the shot off, but uh, Splitgerber put pretty good pressure on him, and then we get a foul on South. I think that's going to go on Opkenorth. Picked and up a couple of quick fouls here. He's got three now. The 11 8 mark. Bring both AJ and Logan back in. Smart substitutions there, Chris, I think. Oh, boy. Fouls are starting to mount against South. See, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a seventh team fall. That should the bonus change too. Oh, he walked. Yeah, but he did get the shot off. A good turnaround shot that time by uh, Michael Dopiric. Dopiric. They want him to stop play to uh, let them know that they should be shooting, but you shouldn't stop it in the middle of action like that. It's too late now. That's an issue. You were right, Marty, and uh, that's an issue. Can't go backwards. Well, what they haven't done yet is uh, put up that seventh foul either. So it's somewhat misleading. Calling the coaches over. Heads you win, tails you lose, South call it. You can't take a basket away, can you? I mean, that's not how it works. No, they can't do this. 
They can't. What are they gonna? Really? Here's what we're gonna do. They're gonna take the basket away? And put, uh, I think it was, I don't remember who it was going to the line. Should have went there. Yeah, you gotta remember who he was even shooting. Fall was on Gutierrez. And it's gonna be Kavanaugh, that's right, on the line. Kavanaugh was just there. I can't believe they did this, Marty. Me either. They don't blow that horn, they just go with it. Yep. They got the foul on the uh, scoreboard now. It reads seven for uh, South. Manitowoc with only one. You're gonna see it. Watch underneath the basket. There you go, over the back. And it wasn't it's not, Kavanaugh. No, it's not Kavanaugh, that's for sure. And they got the wrong guy on the line. Uh, they, got, they got the wrong guy on the line, too. <laughs> this is pretty good. That's a smart move, though. Put your best free throw shooter up there. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, I don't think, yeah, the administration of this is not correct, I don't think. Not at all. Well, they're telling Latour, get in there and shoot. It could have been uh, Latour. It's hard to read our number. No, number. it wasn't Latour. Looked, like looked like a double digit number. I thought it was, um, I thought it was Feast. That's interesting, I gotta take away my stats here, I think. Oh, no, you're really messed up. Who made the basket? Nobody made a basket. Oh, 32, the basket right? was made by 32. You can take that one away. Yep, and then all those shot attempts shouldn't have counted either. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, justice is served, Chris. They still yes. got the two points they should have had. Did they take any, add any time on the clock? No. Come on. <laughs> Well, if all that stuff went on. I, I, I agree. Seconds were lost, but. Uh, Interesting. Never thought I'd see that. Gunther down the line and lays it up and in. Going hard to the hoop. He's four of 10 tonight, Tyler. Stretch that lead back to five. 47, 42. 10 and a half. Wide open shot from 14 is up and in. Braden Brandt, Bant. They're four of 12 now from out there. Cut the lead to just two. Was that a three? Yep. Hamilton with a nice leap and leaner. Whenever they're in trouble, Logan seems to be the guy to get the points there. He's been the man tonight, that's for sure. He has 17. Bant, the shot fake, couldn't get it up. Move in the middle of the lane, a shot is up and in. Nice inside move by DePeric. Yeah, they took his basket away, so he's gotta get one the next time down, and he does. 49-47, Hamilton from three, no good. And Gutierrez over the back. You know, Logan's missed two of those threes, but they have been right there. I mean, I yeah, know. again, you're right. It he, did look like it was going right Logan's in. I know Logan's frustrated, but I'll tell you what, that's a good shot. Dylan Martin's coming in for uh, Gutierrez, who has four now. And uh, eight fouls now on South. Before you know it, Manitowoc will be in the double bonus. Feast on the line to shoot the one and one. You know, and AJ, you know, he, he gets those fouls. Just uh, he just works so hard and hustles. Yeah, but, but uh, you know, but he, you got to be smart hustling. Yeah, control hustle, yeah. Eight fouls to one. Well, 
Yeah, this could uh, could hurt the Red Wings as we move along, Chris. It's now 49 to 49. And uh, Manitowoc has been pretty good at the line since uh, Latour missed those two. They've hit uh, five in a row. And seven out of nine in the half to go along with their eight out of nine in the first half. Hamilton. Oh, dangerous pass there, Chris. Nice. We get a foul on the inside. It's going to go on Martins. He works hard inside, but he's not subtle when he, uh, you know, tries to establish position. That's what he's got to learn. And next time <laughs> for Mantuak, it'll be two free throws, which the way both teams have been shooting free throws tonight bodes well for the ships. Latour hanging, no good. Govec with the rebound. It looked like he had Split Gerber open on the wing, but uh, dribbling with his head down, he missed him. Govec shot from three is no good. Here comes Kavanaugh. Played it smart that time. He didn't have the numbers, so he pulled it back out. 8.35 left in the ball game. We're all tied up. Ginther's done a nice job on uh, Kavanaugh tonight. He has, for sure. Nice pass inside, but blowing the layup was Manitowoc. Govac comes away with the uh, rebound. Duperic was the guy that had the open layup but couldn't get it in. Ginther pushes hard, but the foul is going to go happen out on the floor. No shooting, no shots. Martins, Govec, Logan, Split Gerber, and Ginther on the floor for uh, Sheboygan. Back in their zone. Well, they do that on, on the inbounds. Yep. They play an extended zone too, so that should create spots. You know, about the high post right there. Boom. 10 footer, uh. rims off. Martins with the rebound. He couldn't get it to go, but he'll be at the line. Rindle with his third. Dylan Martins. Nice soft touch by the big kid. Well, as we enter the fourth quarter, eight minutes left. I mean, just think of that. We think it's almost acting like the game's coming to a close, but regularly we'd just be entering the fourth quarter. We got yeah. a long ways to go. Martins is a 6'6 junior and puts a pair of free throws in. He has six points. Off the bench, I might add. Bant, good inside feed. Shot, bump, rims out. Duperic had a nice look at it. Manitowoc wants a goaltending. It did look like a hand went into the net, but uh, no call. Good no call. Accidental, didn't influence the basket. He walked. Gutierrez, jumper in the lane, rims out. Kavanaugh with the board, Latour. That would have been an ugly looking collision, Chris. Perrick had it on the wing. Latour open, off the glass, no good. Martins chases it down. Split Gerber had it on top. Hamilton. Don't extend that hand too far, Logan, when you press to the basket. They'll get you for an offensive foul. And they're gonna get Rindle with a ticky tack. Holy cow. Now we gotta get those fouls a little closer. He's gonna be uh he has four now. Luchter hand and Feast coming in. To pair, uh, pardon me, Latour and Rindel check off. It's his fourth, Rindel that is. Yep, yep. 
We had, I was all over that. Uh, not a good pass. Cavanaugh, it's fouled out on the floor. He'll be shooting a pair. This is what we didn't want to have happen, Chris. Cavanaugh with uh, only four points. He's averaging, uh, we had him at 28 points a game. So South has uh, done their scouting and uh, been able to keep him in check. Cavanaugh with those two free throws ties up the game at 51 with uh, 630 left in the ball game. South shooting 44% for the ball game. So Check out Martin's inside. Establishing position. He's yep. pushing off with yep. that off arm. Yep. You know, if we can see it from here and we're not in a real good position to be able to see it, he's uh, not being clever enough. Yep. It's gotta, I, the idea is correct. You know, use your arm bar, but you can't use it to extend. Exactly. Use it to, to uh, secure your position in the post. Whoops. He'll get closer this time. Latour coming in and uh, Bant checking out. Coach Rank is uh, stuck with this uh, particular group for a pretty long time. Kind of strange, Marty. Both teams at 47% in the second half, both 8 of 17 shooting. <laughs> Cavanaugh wanted to put it up, but good defense again. Latour hanging in the lane, draws the foul. And they're going to get Martins, I believe. For Dillon, that's going to be his fourth. Toughest thing for a big man is you stand up tall, but then you reach down. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, really hard. You know, you got to stand up tall, but the minute you kind of move your wrists in a downward position, officials are going to call that all the time. And Go back in for Martins. Missed free throw, big. Still a long way to go, Marty. Six yeah. minutes. Yeah, you're right. If you think about the four quarter game with eight minutes, there's a That's long a way to go. That's Latour's 20th point, and he ties up the ball game at 52. Ginther being guarded by Kavanaugh. Gutierrez trying to get in the lane. There was a double dribble not called. Ginther gets nice. around Kavanaugh and lays it in. We've seen Tyler attack the basket a couple times tonight with, with Good success. You know what he does, Chris, is he gets on the dribble and he lowers that inside shoulder and gets in front of the defender, and then it's eh, then all you can do is follow him at that point. Yeah, he protects himself very well. And the other thing we've seen him attack from the right side of the glass, left side, and up over the middle. So using all his sources. Kavanaugh on the back cut had the shot blocked. Goes off the foot of uh, Logan Hamilton. Nice play. By Manitowoc, better defense by the Red Wings. Inside feed to Latour, quick shot is up and in. He ties up the ball game. Just how Coach Gallagher practices that play and it worked to perfection. Back and forth, back and forth. That's what my sheet looks like, Chris. One on the south side, then a score on the Manitowoc side. South's got the ball, though. And DePeric, no. what have they got here? Travel. On oh, Travel. Govec. Okay, did you see? I didn't. Well, I wasn't I looking think, at the feet. I didn't think so either. Yeah. And he had Hamilton in the post. Not a bad idea. We're all tied up at 54. We're under five minutes left. And there you see uh, caffeine on the table. Shot rims off, and uh, Gutierrez comes away with it. 
His third board. Right. Hope uh, Zach Caffeine is okay. Uh, not oh. a good pass. Bad decision that time. Kavanaugh has his shot blocked. And South comes away with it and it's going to pick up a foul. Oh, boy. Caught a break there, Chris. Luchterhand with four, Rindel with four. Uh, those are the only two Manitowoc guys in uh, deep trouble, and we have a timeout. It's a full timeout, Scott. Let's take a bit of a break. This little chick has hearing loss. It can be lonely, sad, and often accompanied by ringing in the ears or even loss of balance. But there's good news, because birds have an almost magical way of regenerating their inner ear cells to restore their own hearing, so they can live a happy, chirpy lifestyle. Imagine if science could achieve the same miracle with people. Well, at Hearing Health Foundation, we support research that is doing just that. Visit us at hhf.org and learn more about the cure for hearing loss and tinnitus. Hey, Chris, uh, we had mentioned about the runs in the first half. When you look at the second half, there are, <laughs> they had a little five, five point run by Manitowoc about the middle of the half, but other than that, it's always back and forth. Well, and it feels that way too. Either team can, you know, oh. Very entertaining. Yes, what could we have done different? I mean, either team could have made some baskets. But once again, South has the ball. Regardless if it's tied. Luchterhand, so. Kavanaugh, Feast, Latour, and DePiric on for uh, Manitowoc. For South, it's Split Gerber, Gutierrez, Ginther, Govec, and Hamilton. Rolling down to the four minute mark. Terrace it was open, but passed it over to uh, Hamilton, who drives it to the basket and yeah. couldn't get it in. I'm telling you, though, his shots are right there, Marty. I agree with you. Luchterhand closed out to prevent the three-point attempt, but then that left uh, Hamilton with a drive opportunity, but he just couldn't get it to go in. Luchterhand had a good look, couldn't uh, oh, get it in. We get a foul no. on the floor. Is that going to go on Ginther? Yep. Tyler Ginther is going to pick up his second foul. Yeah, but it's that double bonus thing, Marty. I know. That's why I was saying way back when, all those fouls, that's going to hurt when we get down to crunch time. DePeric on the line. Since the, uh, I got it, Marty, since the 11.06 mark. Bonus? Double, double bonus? bonus? That's, I wrote that down now. I don't know. That's a, that's a good little stat to have. And a break. Rimmed out. Gutierrez chases Two it misses. down. Yeah. Michael DePeric. Hey, you got to go now. South hasn't scored on their last three or four possessions. They're due. They're due. This is going to be the one, Marty. Good back cut by uh, Ginther, but uh, didn't get it. And then uh, Govac taking it hard to the basket. We're going to get a foul on Manitowoc. Bonus time for South. Now we're going to need to start making some free throws. That one's in. Still a long way to go. Jared Govec with that free throw. And he puts in another one. They're ringing those points up for... Uh, Logan Hamilton, they don't even have Govec in the ball game on south side, Chris. Yeah, that's not good. And Back door oh. pass is no good, but Manitowoc comes away with it and putting it up and in. Under pressure was Trevor Feast. Boy, south just a fingernail away from grabbing that one. Exactly. 
Backdoor cut by Ginther. He's fouled. That's actually not a foul. Bad foul by uh, Feast by Luchterhand, but it is his fifth. So he's done. And Ginther will go to the line shooting a pair. Well, he's probably not happy about the foul, but what's worse is you let a player get down in the paint wide open, and that's what Tyler did. Braden Bant is coming in to uh, take Lars Luchterhand's spot. Surprised he didn't go with the big fella, Marty. Yeah. Rendell. Right, yeah, I know what you mean. Those arms get a little shorter as the game, as we get into crunch time. Well, and here's where that extra length of the game is. That one looked better. First one I thought was, didn't have enough knee bend. I think you hit that one on the head. But a lead for South though, and an odd number. Yeah, that's, that's the key. Oh, Latour, no way. No not way. bashful, put it up and no good. And Ginther with the strong rebound, not allowing the two ships to take it away from him. 2.25 left in the ball game. Govec has it out on top. According to the scoreboard, though, he's not in the ball game. Rank sensing a turnover calls a timeout. Now there's a change in college basketball. Coach cannot call timeout. The timeouts have to be called from the floor when the ball is live. I don't know if that would be such a good idea in high school basketball. I know of, I was experience. I know I was down. I think we were tied in a game, and we're coming down the floor. Time's running out. I'm streaming timeout, timeout, timeout. Fistles are, of course, trailing the play by five miles, and we run down, have to heave a shot at the buzzer. We miss, and then we lose in overtime. I wish the officials would have heard me that night. <laughs> really? They maybe heard you after the game. No. <laughs> Said I called timeout. Well, I didn't hear you. Well, they were trailing the play. We were running a breakout as time's running out on a missed shot by our opponent. Who, by the way, was Jeff Wolf and Kohler. <laughs> wow. Was it Summer League? No, no. <laughs> okay. And then his bombers beat us anyways. Ooh, that's when you were at Elkhart. Yep. Okay. Ooh, it was close, but he was in the backcourt. Rolling down to two minutes left in the ballgame. South with a one-point lead and the ball. Split Gerber running the weave here. Govac, ill-advised, three rooms off, no good. Manitowoc with the rebound. One fifty. Latour wants to go hard, but a good defense again by South, keeping him away from the basket. Where are you going? You got gotcha. you. Yep, Logan Hamilton standing his ground, drew the charge. Nowhere to go. Where were, that was a good call because, well, he dropped his head and was going to the basket. And he didn't care who was in, in his way. Watch this here. A little bit out of control. Yeah. Could have been a little bit of a flop, but. A little uh, press. Split Gerber trying to break pressure and does. Still, Almost turned it over. They're playing like there's a minute. Like there's less than 10 and, seconds and, yeah, left. And there's still a long way to go. Now they're south there, that is. It's in a double bonus. Finally. Gutierrez on the line. He's uh, got six points in the ball game. I think this is his first trip to the line. A lot of game left, Marty. Up until about the uh, four minute mark in the ball game, this free throw shooting has really been outstanding, but now as we get to the end, so it's been a little 
Little bit of a smaller basket. South up by two. Plenty of time, 125 left. Perrick uh, broke open underneath the basket. Latour gets fouled by Split Gerber. He'll shoot two. Splitty now has three. Latour has uh, a game high 22 points. Uh, one for two there and if he can make this one he'll be uh, one for two here which is only two for four way short wow missed off the south goes off a, oh whoa Hamilton looked like it went off his arm but uh, referee didn't see it that way nobody complaining coach Gallagher doesn't say anything either well you don't have to Ball goes off of Ginther. Good hustling defense by Latour. He comes up limping though, Chris. Wow. Manitowoc's ball, 117 left. Yeah, and I, I'll tell you what, even if Salt gets in bounds. Did you turn that, put that turnover down? There's a minute seven, oh no. Oh, break. The Perrick's inside shot is no good. Govac with the ball, Kavanaugh with the foul. I'll tell you there, uh, Couple of free throws here, Chris, would uh, give South a uh, little more comfortable lead. Well, Manitowoc's missed from point blank range on that. Two free throws and a bunny shot they've missed down there. And the screws are getting tighter and tighter on the ships. And uh, not handling the, the close game situation. Govac now with 10 points, and it's 60 to 56. Four point lead for the Red Wings. Latour going hard. Oh boy. Wow, they're calling him awfully quick, Chris. Doesn't take much now. Totally different game from the way it started. Well, he was just up there before and looked awful Her. to save the very least. Yeah, he's uh, pretty tight. <laughs> Touched every bit of the rim before it went in. That foul was on Split Gerber, and that was his fourth. And there's still a minute four. I mean, there's a long time. You don't have to automatically foul south here. You've got an attorney. You're only down by two, and there's a foul on Latour. David Latour, that's only a second. But, I mean, you got a minute four. I mean, what, what are they? Yeah, right, exactly. Why are we following? You think South can hold the ball for a minute four? Just, they're playing like the last yeah. minute and a half has been like there's 20 seconds left. Meanwhile, you're letting South get three points at the. Split Gerber with a excellent time to get his first point of the game. Down here at the end, trying to make free throws to uh, give his team a four-point lead. And he does. 62-58. One minute left. Kavanaugh nice move. lays it up and in. Nice move. And a timeout by Manitowoc. Full time out, Scott. Let's take a short break. Did you know that your thumbs are some of the scariest things on the planet? <gasps> Every year, an average of 6,000 people lose their lives to thumbs that are used to text while driving. That means that your opposable digit is more dangerous than volcano sharks, airplanes, jellyfish, tigers, lions, tornadoes, roller coasters, hippos, skydiving, spiders, and snakes. Texting while driving is more dangerous than all of those things. So why isn't it one of your biggest fears? This video was submitted by a student through the Teens Drive Smart program. For more information on teen safety, visit teensdrivesmart.com. Back at uh, South High School, we have 49.8 seconds left. Manitowoc has just scored. 
to make it a 62-60 ball game south on top. Uh, Coach Brian Gallagher calling a timeout. What's he telling him, Chris? Well, I'm curious if they're going to keep up with the press, you know, and then foul so early. I mean, they do have 49 seconds, but that seems to be the philosophy there. Um, again, they called a quick timeout. I don't think I would have called a timeout right there either. I don't know, you just seem... They do have two left. South has just one. Another thing you might want to know is, do you know who to foul? That would be a situation. The way Splitty hit his free throws and Golbeck, I don't think I'd touch them. Here we go. Golbeck uh, on the throw and gets nice. it to Split Gerber and he's wide open. He's gonna take it to the hoop and he missed the layup but he's fouled. And he'll be at the line again shooting two. I'll tell you what, Jared did an awesome job and I don't know if it was the play call but he Basically, he just ran a complete curl. Watch him come all the way around for the ball. That was a nice job there by Jared. Couldn't quite finish, but I liked his free throw form before, Marty. Yep. Nice that, knee bend. That's who I'd want at the line. Had no points up to a minute left in the ball game, and now he's sitting at three with a chance to make it four and giving South a four-point lead again. Wow, what'd you do? <laughs> there you go. He makes a couple more. 64-60. Cavanaugh with it. Bant being guarded by Govac up high. They're going to take the three-pointer away. Cavanaugh's jumper in the lane is no good. Reverse layup is no good. Putback is up and in by Feast, and he's fouled. Lot of on the trampoline there, Chris, so getting yeah. the offensive rebounds. Yeah, Feast worked hard to get that one, Marty. Now we're down to 26 seconds left. Boy, flat free throw is no good, and no all over the back it should be. What are they going to call here? Oh, boy, that was not good. That fall happened. That's what Coach Rank wants too. That yeah. was. I don't like that call. I don't either. AJ's fifth foul too, Chris. If you watch on that miss free throw, there's an over the back and. Uh, well, if you're yeah, then don't call anything. Don't call a foul on AJ when he was the one in position. The problem is the over the back gave Manitowoc an advantage to get the ball and. Yeah. I don't know. Oh well. Well, then he just threw it at the basket. Was the the question, the problem there, and he would never have made that shot. Michael Depuric is uh, at the line. Well, Mantwalks missed a whole bunch of free throws here. Maybe that'll keep going here. It's, he's nervous. I'll Chance tell you that. to tie. He's definitely nervous. Yep. You can just tell in his swagger. He's just. Not ready for prime time. Get the rebound, boys. He's still thinking. He's Dylan Martin's in the game. I like that substitution, Chris. Yep. Get the board. Yep. yep. Another way long. <laughs> Two of them very hard. And then a quick foul. He just couldn't tell. The young man. He just was not ready. Got to forget about everything and think about practice and how you shoot free throws and your routine. At the line for South is Jared Govac. Govac with 10 points. He made a couple free throws just a few minutes ago. He's got, uh. And he's got eight rebounds as well. He's one of those uh, garbage pail kind of guys. Yes, he Does is. all the dirty work. I, I like him a lot. Another missed free throw. Manitowoc comes away with it with a chance to tie or take the lead. They do 19 have, seconds and counting. They have two timeouts. Kavanaugh Long. from the free throw line. No good. Rebound by Hamilton. And he'll be shooting free throws. Manitowoc missed golden opportunities to take this victory. Free throws, layups, wide open jumpers by your best player. 
And would Logan Hamilton please put the nail in the coffin? Well, there's still 13.7 seconds left, Chris. Don't count Manitowoc all too quick. A little four point lead would be awfully nice. Uh, now we gotta get it to three. Dylan Martin's looking for a chance to get a hand on the ball and maybe tip it out where South can get it back. Short. Manitowoc gets the ball. Cavanaugh has it with 10 seconds left. They're not calling timeout. Latour, Latour from deep. Looked good, but it was long. Rebound, putback is no good. Nice play. South wins it 64 62. They hang on to win and beat Manitowoc. Chris has gone downstairs hoping to get a couple of interviews. One more time, South a winner, 64 to 62. Getting out of the military, I was missing this camaraderie. It's frustrating when you try and talk to people that don't understand. I still had the anger, I still had the addictions, but we didn't talk about that. Came to a point where it's like, okay, I really need to talk to somebody about this. Family more or less encouraged me, you know, go, go to the VA. It's okay to go get help. It's okay to talk to people, because it takes true strength to ask for help. Hear veterans' real stories of strength and recovery at maketheconnection.net. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. Whether you ride a bike or drive a car, you must yield the right-of-way to pedestrians at marked and unmarked crosswalks. At intersections, always look for pedestrians before making a turn. And slow down in school zones and neighborhoods to keep our kids safe. Share and be aware, we're all responsible. Going to school pregnant, riding the bus, that was hard. You just have all the stares and you have all the questions. When you get pregnant, all the stuff just goes through your mind. Abortion, adoption, keeping him. When you're 15 and pregnant, you can't do it without support. I wanted to give him a better life. I'm Miranda and I chose adoption. A healthy diet and plenty of exercise are keys to success, both on and off the ice. Teaching kids how to eat right will give them the fuel they need to be at their very best. Growing bodies need lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and low-fat dairy to be healthy and strong. A registered dietitian can work with your family to help you create nutritious meals you will love. And don't forget to exercise for at least 60 minutes every day. Visit kidseatright.org for more information. Hey, we're South guys, what an exciting game. It was that way all night, boys, but uh, it's glad to come out with a victory. Early in the season, you guys are really young, Splitty. What happened now throughout the year? I mean, it's going to be bumps and stuff like this, but you got to like wins. Yeah, we got to work hard. Um, we'll bring it all season. Uh, we're young, but uh, we'll fight. Yeah, you got, I know you're a really, really young basketball team with just two seniors and things, so how's that going with things? Uh, they're they're good leaders. They're great leaders. Uh, we, we follow them and uh, they show us the way. Big free throws down the stretch for you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> clutch clutch free throw shooting. <laughs> Logan led the squad and it seemed like every time you, your team needed a bucket, you got one tonight, which was clutch. And I know you're frustrated with yourself, but I got to tell you, even on your misses today, you were right on target. That's got to be a good thing for earlier in the year. Yeah, it's great. But my team helped me. They led us through. We won this together. Yeah, that's true. And like I said, team effort. I, I mean, you got to, I know Coach Rink likes to play like eight, nine guys. So you're right. It is a team effort for Sheboygan South. And everybody's got to contribute on every given night. Yep. It's just a great team win. And we got to come back tomorrow and work harder. Yeah. Well, it's nice to get a, a, a win at home. And, you know, like you said, first experience for a lot of you guys on the varsity and things a little bit different than, than playing in the JVs. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Call you the kind of like the workhorse, the, the lunch pail guy a little bit out there, doing all the little things, getting the rebounds and the thing. I think he had eight rebounds tonight, but 
you guys stuck together like glue there at the end and pulled it out there. Yeah, good team win. Uh, we just got to stick together. Got to keep working on the stuff. Got to keep improving. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Another thing is what a crowd. Craig been coming to last. Last. Come out here the last two years. There's nobody at the thing. I said it's. I said right away. Marty and I came in here, and you got a nice house of people here. This is the way it's supposed to be this for is, for this games. This is the best atmosphere I've ever played in. Like, thank you guys for coming out. There was a lot of support for you, too. Yeah. Now I know the guys keep saying keep working harder and things like that. It is early in the season, but you know, as I said, being a young squad, you got to keep building on these things and working every day. Yeah, we got to keep working, uh, keep doing the little things, and it's going to get us some wins down the road. That's true. Well, good luck, boys, in the next couple weeks. We'll see you down the road in a couple weeks. With that, we're going to send it up to Marty. All right, great job on the interview, guys. Uh, leading scorer in the ball game was David Latour. He had 24 points for Manitowoc. Uh, following him was uh, Braden Bant, had 11. For uh, South, their leading scorer was Logan Hamilton. You saw him in the interview there. He had 18 points. The lunch pail guy, Jared Govek, had 10. Tyler Ginther had a real nice ball game. He had 16. In all, South had 64 points, Manitowoc 62. It was a great win. They came back in uh, fine style. When Manitowoc made a run at them in the second half, they hung in there. For the crew, or I, let me tell you this, our next game is uh, Friday, December 18th, when we'll be at uh, North. They uh, host Notre Dame in a conference game. Uh, for the crew, our director, Scott Mayloff, our A-team cameraman, Eric Wiesman, our two student helpers tonight, Maddie Fister and Sergey Molitor. And for my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.